Hi guys, what's get up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing my first ever get ready with me while talking about a very sensitive topic, which I think that it's very important for people to be aware of this kind of stuff. So before we move on to the video, please click subscribe and like and let's move on to the get ready with me. This is actually my second opening. I actually did my opening before in the bathroom. I really wanted to shoot in the bathroom, but because of the noise, I just had to like, okay, I cannot. I think I should do it here. So first thing first, I'm gonna do concealer. Concealer. So where should I start? Let's start with why I want to make this kind of video. So a few months ago, Indonesian students community here in, in Germany got shot by a sexual harassment news that happened between Indonesian students. Even the general consulate made a statement about it because the news got big and you know what's horrific about it is that um, the guy was a friend of the girl so like you know the girl must have been thinking that oh he's my friend I don't think he will ever do that and he did Oh my god, I just had a call from my boss. I just had to like cut it off in the middle of the video. <laughs> so let's just continue. So right now I'm gonna do a powder foundation from Benefit. And this is like one of my favorite and also my one of expensive makeup that I have. what I have experienced in Germany, okay? Because there are a lot of things that happened. First is catcalling. The normal one is catcalling. And pretty much catcalling in stairs. I don't, I don't know if I should say normal because, because we all have normalized this and we should not normalize this kind of act. Like catcalling, we should normalize this, but it happens all over the world. So disclaimer, I'm saying about sexual harassment in Germany because I live here, but actually sexual harassment happens everywhere. Okay, not just in Germany, everywhere. But I really want to talk about my experience here in Germany. So about catcalling in Germany, okay? It's pretty normal for me. Okay, people, people like, like, hey, let's do that. I'm like, hey, Mädchen. Something like that, it's normal. And even, uh, even when they stare at me like this, like, hey, like that, it's so uncomfortable. It's already, I don't receive any more cat calling because, because I have a boyfriend right now. So whenever, whenever I go out, I'm with my boyfriend, so that's why there are more likely there aren't many guys to that anymore or else my boyfriend would get mad. But no, since, since I have a boyfriend, I never get cat called again, strangely. So I use this powder foundation not because I want to cover anything on my face. I don't have pimples. It's just I want to even out my skin tone. Now let's do eyebrows. I think the eyebrows that I'm using is from Benefit again. It's Cabrel. 
number two. I love this. I really love the benefit. Not sponsored, by the way. So the second thing that I really want to talk about is is pretty much got followed by strangers, more likely by by strange guys. Yes, it happened many times, like many times. So. Back then when I was a student, I lived in a dormitory, in a student dormitory. And I remember this one time, I remember uh, a guy who lived, like I know him, I, like, I know that this guy lived in a building and lived um, in the first, on the first floor. We never actually got, like, got to know each other. I just know that he, this is the guy that lives on the first floor. And then I remember I came back home from college, of course, from university. Came back home, and he also came back home apparently. And we were on, we were in the elevator together in the dormitory. My room was in on the second floor, right? And he already pressed the first floor, and I pressed the second floor. When the door opens on the first floor, he did not go out. Okay, he did not go out I mean, I and mean, I was like thinking like why like, why did you even go out again but then the door closed and then it got up to this second floor and I went out and he went out with me and he pretty much followed me from behind it's like I was like thinking does he do that intentionally so that he wants to know which room I live? And that's, I think, that's, that's scary, you know? And at the end, I confronted him and saying, are you following me? Like, are you following me? And he just like, he got back to the elevator and just like, come on. Okay, that, this, is, this is pretty scary, you know? And no, it did not happen in the middle of the night okay okay now i want to do eyeshadow not eyeshadow but more likely lipstick that i use put on one as eyeshadow so yes that pretty much happened to me um Another one. I think there are, there are many cases about a guy following me, honestly. But another one that I remembered the most was this time when I went out from the dormitory to uh, grocery to do grocery shopping. Yeah, and then I remembered I went like this, and then there's this guy like coming towards me, right? And he like looked at me from top to bottom and like said, "Hi." But I was like kind of like strange, like, and then I just went by, and he, this guy, just followed me from behind, and he literally followed me, okay, even to the to the supermarket. He followed me to the supermarket when I bought my eggs, and even when I, even even I was um, waiting in the cashier, he he pretty much waited for me followed me okay even inside the supermarket so that was scary and i remembered um i called one of my guy friends that i was being followed like this is so scary but i was being followed please help me and he said no worries no worries just uh just go to somewhere where a lot of people and good thing is at the time it was seven minutes away like the the mall the yeah, then there was this was the small where I lived and it was seven minutes away so I pretty much ran <laughs> ran to the to the mall and then like he disappeared. So that's that's a thing. It's very scary honestly. It's from BH. 
gonna use the brown one to actually just flip from the from this to the outer corner. For eyeliner, I'm using Art Deco, so I need to to concentrate. Oh. <laughs> Just, just consider that it's not there, okay? No, it's still there actually. Oh well. Now I'm doing my mascara. Mascara from Essence. And the third part, the third thing that I really want to share with you guys, another sexual harassment, is groping. Groping, touching, you name it, okay? The first experience that I got, I think that I really remember the most till this day is when I was waiting in the main station Duisburg main station, actually, here in Germany Duisburg main station and I remember I was waiting for my friends. There was this guy that I did not notice. I did not notice because because I was chatting with my friends. I was like this, like chatting. Where are you guys? Why are you not here? Like that. And this guy just came up to me and pretty much touched my breasts. Yeah. And I was I was so shocked that I could not even speak. I could not even shout. I could not do anything. I was like. What just happened? What the fudge just happened? Like that. And I remembered his face. He was smiling. He was smiling at me. He was like this. And I just looked at him and uh, I was I was too shocked to do anything. Good thing is, seconds later, my friends did come. So but then he was he was gone like real quick. And I think the biggest sexual harassment, the biggest thing that I ever experienced was in New Year's Eve. It was covered in all news, BBC, CNN, German news, and even Indonesian news. My parents heard it as well it was the scariest moment actually I must say and I'm pretty sure maybe maybe I, I don't know but maybe maybe you guys have heard it don't, don't know. Okay. let's do some blush first it's from Patrice and contour a bit It was, I think, 2016 or 2017, yeah. It was, it was at the time, New Year's Eve. Uh, me and my friends, five of us, all girls, we went to Cologne. We went to Cologne to celebrate New Year. And, um, well, it's New Year, of course, there are a lot of people, like really a lot of people. And I remember that um, on the stairs, the stairs to the dome, I put a picture here. There, there were a lot of people like just standing there, okay? And I didn't, I didn't think much about it at first. I didn't think much about it. And then we came up to the stairs, to the dome, and there's this guy like touch our butt. They touch our butt. Not just one, not just one. We, not just one, two, not just two. Like many. There were, there were many guys. We got touched, all of us. And I remembered I got so mad, I almost threw a punch on one guy. Then there's another guy that's like behind me, like touching me. I just, I saw that we were surrounded, okay? I just saw that we were surrounded and we got so scared, so we ran. Yeah, 
they did not just touch our butt, they touched, they groped our chest as well. It was a horrifying thing. And honestly, it was, it was very horrifying because I still remembered how we got surrounded. And I don't know, if, if I picked a fight with one of those guys, I, I might not be here today, honestly. And um, I remember the next day, it was a horrifying New Year's Eve ever. The next day, um, I saw the news. I think my friends, I think my friends like sent me links that there are so many news about what happened in, in, in Cologne. So I read the news and it was horrific, okay? Thank God that we just got groped because at the time there were a lot of people got raped, okay? Got raped, things got stolen, and even some got murdered, okay? It was horrifying. And yes, it happened when uh, Germany just opened up their borders for immigrants. And yes, the preparators are mostly. They are immigrants. So when it happened, the Prime Minister Angela Merkel did deport them all. I think there were there were hundreds of them. Yes, the one who actually entered in to Cologne, they got deported. Still, it was horrifying. And even my parents called the next day, like, "Are you okay? Why are you? Why are you there? Why are you there?" Like they kept asking me that. Like, wanted to celebrate, just did not think that it would happen to us like that. <sighs> yeah, that was, that was horrific. Now I'm using lipstick, the one with my eyelids, pretty better. It's pretty pretty. Also a bit of uh, ombre. So guys, um, that's pretty much it. My makeup, what do you guys think? <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys learned so much about um, my experiences about sexual harassment here in Germany. And I hope for you guys, especially for women who live alone, please do be careful. Please always bring pepper spray. Um, it's very important. It's very important actually. Or bring your guy friends, the one you trust, of course. Like really trust, okay? So that's it for today's video. Hope I see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.